Today in math, we will practice comparing numbers within 999. Let's do a quick review of what we've practiced over the past few days. Over the past few days, we have practiced drawing numbers and putting them in expanded form. Let's draw the number 381. First, I start with my hundreds, and I have three of them. Next, I have eight tens, and I have one one. When I go to put this in expanded form, I see that I have three digits. So, my expanded form will have three parts. I see that I have a three in my hundreds place, so that is worth 300. I have eight tens, which is worth 80, and I have one one. 381 is equal to 300 plus 80 plus one. Next, I have 502. Let's draw the number first. Let's start with our five hundreds. Looking at my number, I do not have any tens, so I will not draw any ten sticks, but I do have two ones. When I expand this number, I have three digits, so I will have three parts to my expanded form. I start with my hundreds. I have five hundred, zero tens, and two ones. Now, it's your choice if you want to put the zero tens. You could also write this expanded form like this, and that would be fine as well. In a previous unit, we practiced comparing numbers using these symbols, greater than, less than, equal to. We often think of these symbols as little alligators, and the alligator wants to eat the larger number. So, we need to decide which number is larger. One strategy that we like to do is to draw the number out. Let's start with 43. And over here we have 27. Now, as I look at those two, 27 has a lot more ones. But, since I'm a mathematical thinker, I know that tens are bigger than ones. And over here I have four tens, and over here I only have two tens. And four tens is greater than two tens. So we would read this as 43 is greater than 27. Let's do one more example. In these two numbers, I'm going to draw them out. 136, and 36. Now these two numbers might look very similar, except there's one key detail. Over here, we have a hundred. And on this side, there are no hundreds. And hundreds are bigger than tens. So we would read this as 136 is greater than 36. Today we're going to practice the same skill, except we're going to use larger numbers. Now, we could draw out each one of these numbers, but that's going to take us quite a bit of time. So another strategy that we often implement is simply looking at the numbers. Now, just like when I draw, I always look at the biggest piece of the number first. In this case, we would look at the hundreds. Hundreds are bigger than tens and ones. On the left, I have six hundreds, and on the right, I have four hundreds. Six hundreds are greater than four hundreds, so I'm going to put my symbol going this way. Six hundred fifty-four is greater than four hundred fifty-six. Here's another example. Just like last time, I start with the hundreds. Three hundred, three hundred. Oh, those are the same, so I don't just stop there. That does not mean the numbers are the same. Next, I'm going to go to my tens to have a look. Two tens, eight tens. Well, two tens is less than eight tens, so I'm going to put my symbol this way. 328 
is less than 382. And one last example for today. We have 62 and 620. They look very similar, but there's a big difference. In this number, I have six hundreds. And over here in this number, I do not have any hundreds. It's almost like there's an imaginary zero. So I have zero hundreds and six hundreds. Six hundreds are far larger. 62 is less than 620.